Consumers will feel the pinch even more after the enactment of the Finance Act of 2018, which will now see mobile money transactions attract a 20% excess duty. Although the full effects are yet to be felt, the central bank governor, Patrick Njoroge, is a worried man as inflation jitters continue to bite. KTN's business reporter, Tandiwa Yego, breaks it down for us. With Kenyans having over 20 million mobile subscribers, the high penetration of mobile phones has come with more convenience, as Kenyans can now easily transfer money and run businesses much more effectively. But with this massive reliance on mobile money transfer services, the government is casting its net wide by looking to raise more taxes. There'll be a reduction, just like any excess tax. Right? If you have a tax on something, you will generally have a reduction in the transmission um, or that value, or whatever it is, the underlying value. Um, so that is expected. But I think the point here is that uh, it is important for us to go into other forms of taxation or to expand the effectiveness of the tax system that we talked about. The increase of excise tax on mobile money transfer to 20% has left many Kenyans reeling from the repercussions that this brings. This especially applies to small businesses, which will have to add increased costs while trying to grow or even start their businesses. Sasingine kama ni pesa angu ni kiasi, inabidi mimi nitoe kama shilingi miya moja, miya moja, nitoe tu miya moja, kwa jili nitatumia ten bob. Hapo naona kama ata afadali na sevu, naona garama angu ya hiyo pesa inaeza kuluwa sana. This increase will also affect students who claim that life is hard enough as it is and the tax will hinder their attempts to venture into entrepreneurship. Tunalipa school fee na katu wa tax, kila kitu mipanda. Sasa mambo ya product, ya business, kila kitu yiko juu sai. The tax is very high, it's affecting us. I just want Uru Kenyatta to think about all of us. We ask students, what makes us to survive for survival in this world? We are doing online jobs that can change our life and also, also our fellow colleagues' life. And with small to medium businesses being the backbone of our economy, the new tax is crippling many small businesses and making many wonder what the future for the growth of these small enterprises will be. Sandy Weyego, KTN News.